Okay, so this is part two of my <clears throat> foraging adventure. I'm going to now dry these mushrooms. If anybody can identify them, please let me know. I am to not wash them because mushrooms are almost purely water. And so it would be a problem if I'm going to wash them, make them even more wet before drying them. But look how beautiful they are. Look at the beauty of this mushroom. Oops. Let me face the camera here instead. So look how gorgeous. I mean, I'm so taken by nature. Thank you, Lord, for all the beautiful things that you have done and given unto man and only humans, right? They're trying to, we're still human here, hopefully, right? We're still human despite all the medication, all the drugs, pharmacia. So I'm going to cup the stem and I'm going to be putting them in the dryer right there behind me, okay? This time I'm going to see if I could remove any heat because I think that may have been a mistake. So, <clears throat> uh, you're going to see me working from here, okay? How does that look? Okay, so I'm going to cut off the stem. I understand that the stem... Is, is useless, no benefits in it. I may be wrong. It actually looks pretty good to me, if you ask me. That stem looks pretty hardy to me. But you know what? I'm going to keep it. You never know. Maybe I'm wrong, right? All right. So I'm keeping, keeping the dirt out. <clears throat> Let me get myself a bag so that I could put the stems there and feed it to the animals outside because nothing goes to waste in my home. Nothing. My garbage can is almost empty all the time because the food my leftovers go to the animals look how beautiful this is is this not beautiful can anybody identify this beautiful beautiful mushroom give you a nice close look so i'm gonna cut the dirt part of it and i'm gonna keep part of the stem is that a deal does that work okay and of course, when they're cooked, you know, the germs will go away, I guess, right? <laughs> what can I say? I'm not an expert. Don't do what I do. Don't do as I say. Do according to your research and your intuition. I'm no expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a dietitian. I just believe in appreciating nature from an apartment size home. Okay, this looks good. I'm so excited about these. This time, I'm not going to allow heat uh, to hurt. I'm going to cut just this part of the root of the stem. <clears throat> I hope I could. Am I able to be viewed what I'm doing? Let's see. I'm going to cut this part. Okay. Look how beautiful. These are dry leaves. It is the fall season. Fall season. I'm just going to cut it from here. Well. Oh. I should allow the camera to see what I'm doing, right? Let's see. Boom. There we go. Boom. There it is. And I got a lot of twigs. <laughs> I came with a twig on my hair yesterday. Okay. Ooh, look at this nice little one. This is a small one. Oops. Go ahead and drop the camera, girlfriend. Just, okay. So here we go. I'm going to cut it. This is the root. You can see it. Oh, are there baby mushrooms in there? Oh my goodness, look. There's a baby mushroom in here. Can you see that? There's a baby mushroom in there. You see right here? Look. Right here. You see that baby mushroom? Oh my goodness. Is that not beautiful? So, <laughs> I'm not sure how deep I want to go on this one. But I actually can start growing, harvesting mushrooms um, by taking a mix of these mushrooms and mixing it with um, either hay or um, I have some sawdust out there. I just got to boil it and, um, you know, I may save some mushrooms for that reason. So, you know this, you see this beautiful little mushroom? I'm going to keep it. 
I'm going to keep it. And um, I'll take a couple of them to make a potion so I could mix it into my sawdust. And so I could grow these mushrooms at home. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I mean, they're so beautiful. It's like, I don't want to let go of them. Okay. So here we go. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> With the leaves and all. With the leaves and all. Okay. So maybe I'll take the stems and I could make that mix without even bothering with the mushroom. The stem alone has what it takes, right, to grow. So instead of dumping the stems, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Instead of dumping the stems, I'm going to actually take the stems for that purpose. How's that? Boom. I just cut the stem off. And I'm going to keep the top. And I think I'm going to use the stems to make a potion motion so I could start growing these at home. In bottles. <laughs> I collect containers and re uh, recyclables. So I'm not going to lack any of that. Um, and now I need another bag because this bag... Okay, so you see this bag over here? I'm going to dump my stems in here. So I can make a motion potion. So I could grow these mushrooms. So I'm no longer going to keep this to eat it later because they're beautiful so we'll take a picture of it it'll last longer that's what they say right gorgeous this one's round this looks like a different kind of mushroom versus this so i'm going to top cut the stem and i'm going to dump it in my bag my regrow bag boom regrow bag i'm gonna make a motion potion for that okay look at this gorgeous thing here Right off the ground. Okay. So right off the ground, I'm going to make my motion potion. <clears throat> Keep that. Uh, most of it, I'm going to just cut some of the stem. And the rest is going to be fed to the animals. Because they love this stuff. We don't grow these mushrooms here in this community. Although... My friend grows them. No, they grow naturally in her property. Okay. So, here a couple more. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love with nature. Okay, so. Wow. So, I'm going to... This one is as cute as a button. Look at look, look at it. No pun intended. Cute as a button. Look at that stem. Look at the stem on this. Cute as a button. I'm going to use that stem to regrow it. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, I could be here all day. Be here all day. All right. So, I'm going to dump that stem into my regrow my regrow Regrow, regrow. Unfortunately, I didn't do the same thing with the Hitachi, but I do have plenty of the Hitachis anyway <laughs> to grab and regrow. Okay. So, this is going to be quite interesting here. You see this over here? This is actually a version, a more mature version of these. You see how this is white and this is like off white? Well, this is it aging. And you see how it grows up? Like, it's not like a mushroom anymore. It actually starts to turn inside out. You see that? So, I believe this is the, the, the more mature version of what this is. Although, look how different they look. Look at the caps. One is starting to go upside down kind of thing. Look at that. Okay.
So I'm going to get this done a lot quicker than I got the other one done yesterday. So as far as putting it in the dryer. See, see there's like a little animal bit into it. You see that? Beautiful. No matter what. Here's another uh, mature one. So, you see this? This is the mature one. I cut, I cut the cap off this one. You see how it's a different color and it kind of like starts to invert in the other direction where the white one, when it's still white, I believe these are the same mushrooms, uh, but that this, this is what my friend told me. And see, they have spores growing in the center. So they do have common ground here, uh, except when it matures, it starts to get harder. This one's harder and it starts to invert where this one is still like a mushroomy top. If you know what I mean. Beautiful. Okay. And so, uh, if when you cut the top, let me take this out. <laughs> Look how gorgeous. When you cut this. If you see a different color, that's when you know it's toxic. That's what I was told. Okay. All right. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Beautiful. I mean, I could show these things off all day long. All day long. All day long. gorgeous i mean yes i just gotta show each and every one of them because you know what they are individuals just like we people are individuals mushrooms are individuals yes sirree so this is much immature me I'm no expert here when it comes to mushrooms but do you believe what i'm doing is safe don't try it at home do some research always first. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. Okay, here we go. I'll cut that cap off, as you can see. Gorgeous. I'm going to use these stems so I could, and even little pieces like this, I'm just going to put it in my little bag here. I'm going to make a mix here so I can start growing mushrooms at home. And worst case scenario, my animals will love them. When I say my animals, I mean the wild. That's what I mean. So Beautiful little button. As they say, cute as a button. Yeah. Cute as a button. Cute as a button. Another button. I don't have too many buttons. Not too many buttons. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to dump the stem in here. And start growing at home. That's going to be a, another film for another day. Here's a beautiful one. Look at that. So I think I'll cut the stem. I don't really need it. They say this, there's nothing in the stem, but I'm not too sure about that. But I could use the stems anyway. I got leaves stuck on this one. Yeah. So here's another one. Yay! Here's another one. I'm going to cut the stem. And when I buy dry mushrooms or when I see them in the store, Predominantly by the Asians, who probably are far better experts, obviously, right? They're packaging the stuff and in the business. But anyway, I just cut the stem, putting it in the bag. I can't believe how quickly this is going. And I have to peel the leaves, literally, off these uh, 
I'm probably going to end up eating a lot of these little twigs because uh, I'm not doing the best job in cleaning them off. Just do the best you can. You can't wash them. Look at the beauty. Look at this beauty. Each beauty is unique. Each beauty is unique. I want to cut this off and use it to grow more mushrooms. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. If you can see the dirt, let me let me try to get this a little closer here so you can see how I'm having to kind of like remove some stuff that when it's dry, I don't want to probably end up spitting it out of my mouth if I don't clean it right, which uh, I'm not doing the best job. I'm only getting better at it as I go along. So look how beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, just beautiful. Gorgeous, God's nature, and it's supposed to bring a lot of nutrients, good for our brain. I wonder if I could ferment mushrooms. Imagine that. That'll be a triple, triple decker winner there. Fermenting mushrooms. Mushrooms are great for you, and now you're going to ferment them? Wow. Okay, last but not least, let me allow you to take a look into my bu bucket. See? No, it's all done. This, this part over here in the bag is going to the animal because there are stems in there. Believe it or not. And uh, this is my last mushroom. Again. <laughs> the rest is history. Nothing. No, oh, there's a little button in there. Oh, little, 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 little tiny little button here. To the rescue. Can you see this? Look at this. Look at this little button. What do they say? Cute as a button. I can see why. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to uh, put this in the mix, my little button in the mix, in the bag. Boom. Because you never know. Maybe it has some growing power since it's in, 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 it's in its in infancy, right? You never know what stage is best to use when growing mushrooms. Boom. Here it is. Ooh, here it is. Chakalaka. Ooh, here it is. Let me put it in just green background in case anybody would like a screenshot of this. Look at this. Beautiful mushroom. Yay. Beautiful mushroom. Feel free to use my pictures. No problem there. God made things beautiful. Well, um, this war broke out in Israel about three days ago. I'm not very happy about that. People are suffering all over the world. Maui and all that stuff. Not a good thing. Okay, so now I'm going to... Guess what? I'm going to start putting, putting these... putting these in the tray. That's what I'm going to start doing, right? But this time I'm going to make sure there's no heat involved. Look at this beautiful. This is really heavy. This is like, this is going to take an eternity to, to dry because it's got a lot of heaviness in it. Sorry about that. I'm crossing over. I want to try to scrape the leaves off because uh, I'm pretty, I want to be spitting up some stuff here. I should have kept the mushrooms separate. <clears throat> I think all of these white ones are the same anyway. See, this has a lot of little stems. It is pretty grossly dirty. You know what? I'm going to take a chance and run some water in it. Screw that. Because I need to get this dirt out. How could you not wash mushrooms? So this did nothing but wet it more, <laughs> but I'm sorry, it just had to get some cleaning. Okay, buttons, 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 I don't really need, um, I don't know what I was going to say, huh? These mushrooms.
mushrooms are good. A lot of mushrooms are good for brain. Uh, not a doctor or a nurse. So here's my first tray. Let's see if I could push some. Oops. A little closer. Make a little more room. Put the buttons here because they fit better. And then make room for a centerpiece one. Okay, it's going to be on for 10 hours. And I have to put it back for more. You see that? Boom. Let me just show you. Look how gorgeous that tray is. Okay. It almost smells like perfume. These are... Mm, my, my hands smell like, like jasmine. And uh, these are leaf mushrooms. They're not mushrooms from the bark of a tree. And from what I am told, these are the ones that are... Uh, these are the ones that are sweeter in nature. And my hands smell like... They smell... It smells like... Uh, jasmine here where the other the ones from yesterday yesterday's shiitake they didn't smell like like jasmine but they didn't they didn't smell woodsy either because they grow on the well they actually grow off the tree they actually do Mo most of them not all of them so here we go here's a stem i'm going to dump it in the bag boom and you know what i'm gonna wash this off this is a little too ridiculous you know what i mean how can i not wash this Gently. Gently wash it. It's not like I'm soaking it. I'm at least trying to get off the dirt. Right? You guys must be thinking, she's, she's not washing it? Well, these are a little bit too dirty. A little bit too dirty. For my liking. This top looks a lot better now. Except it's going in wet, which is not a good idea. But, I'd rather it clean. It almost looks like a tortilla from the picture, right? <laughs> it looks like a tortilla. Okay. So, cute as a button. Cute as a button. Now, I don't know. Look at the spores. Look at that. I heard that. I wonder what makes. So, somebody give me a heads up. You see how it's facing down? It's not inverted. Some of them are reverted. They look like they're just a more mature version of it. So actually, I don't need that many. I am done. I am done. See, the... see, look at that spores. You see that? Just natural. So I don't need that much. Uh, so I'm going to space it out some more because I I thought it would fill up like it did yesterday. So no need. No need for the pressure. Maybe it'll dry up easier and it won't need all that time spent like yesterday. Yeah, this heavy one, heavy duty. This is like like a chocolate chip cookie in comparison to a, a wafer. That's how heavy this is. That needs a lot of drying. All right, so what's going on here? All right, so I'm not using up all the trays. Some trays are empty. And here is the door. Lastly, I gotta kind of like empty it out, clean it out a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so here goes the door. Boom. You see this? Chakalaka. I don't even, I'm not a fan of these, this music that I'm portraying that I like, but I guess we gotta add some. Boom. Here it is, right? Kind of thing. So I am done. And so, <clears throat> now I'm going to plug it in. Boom. Now, uh, I'll turn this on. And of course, I could actually control the timer. So, so I'm controlling the timer. And it, I'm no expert, so, but I am controlling instead of 10 hours. Hmm, you can't really see the digits very well, huh? It's 9 o'clock. It's kind of blinking. Okay, I'm going to make it for six, six hours, okay? And how about the temperature? 
The temperature, 158 Fahrenheit. Oh, no. I don't... 158 Fahrenheit. I guess it's supposed to be like an oven, I guess, right? Um, so I'll make it 95 Fahrenheit. I don't know what I'm doing. But that's it. Set it and forget it. All right? So now the thing is running. And it's doing its thing. And it's not filled to capacity the way yesterday's was with the shiitake. But you have yourself a great day in the meantime. And um, what else can I say? Till next time. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, hit the notifications and subscribe. And put a little comment about what you think about this. Just be polite. But I would love to hear from you and where you're from. What state, what country. That would be wild. Tell me about the mushrooms in your area. Thank you so much. Join me in my foraging adventure for beginners. Thank you and have a great day.